Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen with Headwaters Science Institute and I'm back with another Thursday Science Challenge. Today we're going to look at leaf transpiration. Another invisible process, leaf transpiration is when water is moved up through plants and released as water vapor. By capillary action, the plant will move water up from the roots and into the leaves. It's a lot like human sweating. So why do plants transpire? There's three main reasons. The first is it's a cooling mechanism, like humans that sweat. The second one is when the water moves up, it also brings nutrients with it to feed the plant. And the third one is there's a structure underneath the leaf called a stomata. It's an opening in the leaf and it opens to let out the water vapor, but when it's open, it also lets in carbon dioxide, which you might remember is the main driver of photosynthesis. 97% of the water that the plant pulls up is actually released as water vapor. And I'm gonna show you a cool way to measure this invisible process, leaf transpiration. Your challenge today is to come up with some kind of question about leaf transpiration in your yard and to figure out how to test it. The materials today are gonna to be really simple. You'll need some sort of Ziploc bag, you will also need a liquid measuring device, a cup or tablespoons, and maybe some rubber bands and some tape. So my question is going to be, which one of my bushes transpires the most? And I predict my maple bush is going to transpire the most because it has bigger and wider leaves. So let's go outside and I'll show you how you can test this. Starting your project is really easy. All you need is your bag. Find a bush that has a lot of leaves at the end of it, put them in the bag, zip the bag closed, take some time to do that, and if there's a little opening at the end, you can rubber band that closed. There's a few things you can think about when you're making your question. Is it a windy day? Is the temperature going up or down? Are there other factors that are affecting your transpiration? Light is what triggers transpiration in a plant, so it's going to do most of it during the day. So that might be part of your question too. Let's collect the bags I put out this morning. So this is the one on my lilac bush. I put them out at 10 o'clock and it's 6 o'clock now. So that is a good eight hours of transpiration and we'll see what we got. This has a lot of moisture in the, wa in the bag, but not a whole lot of measurable moisture. This one is on a native current, and you can see all sorts of water droplets in there. So I'm gonna pull it off and see if there's anything we can measure. Wow, that one is very moist. And here is my maple bag. This is looking promising. It's nice and wet. And I've got some water in there. Now I'm at the bag that I put on that native manzanita. And this one, you can see all of the moisture droplets in the sun. This one's looking pretty wet. The leaves are all shiny. Okay, let's go and compare them. All right, let's look at my results. My lilac was wet, but no water that I could pour out of there. My current was pretty wet, and there's a little bit of water in there. So I'm gonna pour it into my tablespoon. I was a little zealous thinking that I could measure it in a measuring cup because I did not get as much, but I do. it does work in a tablespoon. And that looks like about a half a tablespoon for the current. My manzanita had some water in it. So let's put this in the tablespoon and see how much it is. Oh yeah, that comes to just below the rim of the tablespoon. So that is definitely more water for the manzanita. 
And now let's check my hypothesis with the maple. Definitely have some water in there. And it fills it to the top of the tablespoon. So the maple transpired more water. Turns out my prediction was correct this week. The maple pulled out more water vapor than the other three. If the capillary action of drawing water and nutrients up into the plants piques your interest, you can try one of these experiments to see how it works. It turns out plant transpiration is a really important process. 10% of the moisture in our air is from plants transpiring. The other 90% is evaporation from oceans and big lakes. And one last cool fact for you is a large oak tree can transpire 40,000 gallons of water in one year. So go see what you can find out in your yard and please share us some photos if you can. And we will see you next week. Good luck.